Hi, Nancy here, and I want to show you how to do a bubble stitch. Um, it's also called a stained glass stitch. I've heard it called a window pane stitch. It's really easy. People think it's really hard because it looks like you're doing something, you know, really miraculous, but you're not. It's super easy. Um, there's your bubbles. See how they kind of just pop through? Uh, this got really popular. There's a couple of mitten patterns out there that um, have it on the cuff and uh, Madeline Tosh did a bubble wrap cowl pattern where it was uh, used with a DK weight and it's really pretty, really pretty pattern. But I'm using the giant yarn so you can get the idea. How it works is you start out with so many rounds of your one color, your base color. Then you end up I, this is my second series. Then you end up switching over to another, the bubble color, the bubble color for the next four rounds. Okay? After you do that, then you switch back to the base color. And that's when you create your bubbles. And I'm going to show you how to do it. Okay. So, how it, you're going to knit, most of them, there's three in between. Okay? So what you're going to do with your base color now, we're going to take the stitch, the, the fourth stitch, I've knit three, so this would be the fourth one, and I'm going to unravel it. And this is kind of good, this takes away your fear of dropping stitches big time, so it's a good practice for you. And this yarn is really catchy, so. Alright, so I've, un, I've unraveled the four rows of the bubble color, color which I've knit. I'm going to take my needle and I'm going to put it into the green, the loose stitch, just like when you pick up a stitch, I put my right needle into that stitch. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to duck under those four unraveled wraps, okay? Then I'm going to, un I'm going to wrap my yarn as if to knit and I'm just going to bring it right back through that stitch, okay? I've just made a bubble. Okay, so we're going to go down three more here. One, two, three. Okay, now I'm going to push this off the needle. I'm going to unravel it. Okay, there is my free stitch. I'm going to put my right needle into that stitch. I'm going to duck under the wraps. That's always important. Underneath. Wrap to knit. Bring it, I'll try, let's try it this time, see if it works a little better. Wrap it, bring it, I'm just not having luck here. Bring it back through, and that one's done. I'm going to do one more here. Now when you come to the end of your round on this, you don't need to cut your collar and restart it. That's really not necessary. Um, all you have to do is twist it up the back and bring that color up that you need to work on. Every round I just twist it around. I'll show you when I actually look at this. Oh, this really catches here. Okay, so we're going to go here, under, wrap, bring it through. Okay, now I want to show you when you get to the other side here, when you finish your round, okay, all I've done is I just keep twisting my color up the back. So this would be uh, the pink. So when I come around, I'm just, or the mauve, and so I'm just going to bring the one under and then start working with that so that you don't have to restart your yarn. It really doesn't show. It doesn't really matter because it's in the back. You can't see it at all. It works out just easy as pie. So that's how you do this. This is how you do a bubble stitch. They're really fun.